jury three hours to convict two teenagers of murder. It's a case with two shooting scenes and multiple people unfortunately injured. Brian Mastery tonight walks us through the evidence in the Six News exclusive. A guilty verdict for two teens accused of hunting people in rival gang territory. Prosecutors tell me the damage could have been much worse. It is really kind of mind numbing that especially kids of this age would have the mentality to do that and almost like it's a sport. June of 2021, three years ago, investigators said the teens crisscrossed Omaha looking for getaway vehicles and members of the Crips, a rival gang. They stopped here at 39th and Ames at two in the morning and shot into a bar. One of them had a high powered rifle and killed 37 year old Timothy Washington. At trial, prosecutors played audio of what shot spotter captured that morning. 17 minutes later, another instance of gunfire, this time Spencer Housing. The shooter surrounded a guy who was in his car. <laughs> 20 casings on one side, nine on the other. Remarkably, the man in the car survived. A woman was grazed in a nearby apartment. A bullet pierced through their home, their window of their bedroom, and they had an, an, a baby in with them, and the woman was laying in her own bed and had a grazed wound go across her forehead. I mean, we could have had four people that night um, that were murdered. A jury found Quan White of Omaha and Mariano Flores of Lincoln guilty of 11 counts, including murder. They were 15 years old at the time of the shooting. For teenagers, murder isn't an automatic life in prison without parole sentence like it is for adults. The U.S. Supreme Court's opinion is it should be reserved for the rarest cases when there is no hope for rehabilitation for the teenagers. If you're underage, then you um, have a, they can go anywhere from 40 to life. So the judge will make that determination. However, in addition to the murder charge, of course, there were 10 other convictions that all carried up to 50 years. Detectives say if not for a victim tracking her phone when the teen stole her car to West Omaha gas station, the suspect's connection to murder may have been lost. On your side at the Douglas County Courthouse, Brian Mastry, 6 News. The two teens are now 18 years old and will be sentenced in September.